practice, devote yourself to them so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this you will save both yourself and your hearers. Negative. In the presence of this assembly, will you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility in the confidence that it comes from God through the call of the church? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and with the confessions of the Lutheran Church? Will you carry out this ministry in harmony with the constitutions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and in your use of the means of grace? Will you love, serve, and pray for God's people, nourish them with word and sacraments, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. 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 Please stand. And now, people of God, will you receive Megan as a messenger of Jesus Christ sent to serve all people with the gospel of hope and salvation? Will you regard Megan as a servant of Christ and a steward of the mysteries of God? We will, and we ask God to help us. Will you pray for Megan, help and honor Megan's work, and in all things strive to live together in the peace and unity of Christ? We will, and we ask God to help us. Megan, the office of pastor is now committed to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Savior Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is pleasing in God's sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. You have been called to be among us to baptize, to teach, and to forgive sins. Remind us of God's love for all people. I will. Thank you. And you have been called among us to proclaim the good news. Teach us of God's hope for all people. You have been called to be among us to preside at the Lord's Supper. Welcome us to God's table. of God, I present to you, Megan, your pastor. <laughs> Since you are really excited and love cheering and, and clapping, I'll do the rest of it. Let us now welcome Megan in the name of <laughs>
One, two, three.